some of the misconceptions I have about veganism and, and people who don't eat meat. And, and this is directly related to you and I don't want you to take offense to it when I ask this question. When you think of a vegan and you look at the history of vegans and you look at Dr. Sabi, they look kind of frail. Yeah, real skinny. You don't look frail and you don't look skinny, my brother. Yeah, I'm not. In fact, your face might look a little bigger than mine and I eat meat occasionally. Mm -hmm. You're a vegan, you, you, you say you eat fruit all the time. Why are you not this frail little vegan character that in our mind, in our imagination, we all picture vegans to be, my brother? Uh, it's because I truly, truly cleanse my gut and I know how to mix and ratio the proper foods to actually keep the sugars of glucose and fructose coming in for I can build up, you know, them fatty cells to keep weight on me. I teach people all the time about the four keys to the kingdom. Uh, it's called digestion. The second one is absorption. The third one is utilization. And then the last one is elimination. So when I went through my school and my studying and really studying how to heal my body and properly build, I studied a lot of gorillas, you know, gorillas that's in the mountains and gorillas that's in the low plains plus domesticated gorillas. And I always ask myself, dang, I noticed that the domesticated gorillas is the ones that's frail, the ones that's skinny. I noticed the ones that's in the mountain is skinny too, but the ones in the plains, they had a lot of muscle mass on them and they don't work out. They don't do push-ups and sit-ups, but they build a lot of muscle mass. So I started studying their food and how they went through their process of digestion, their process of, uh, of absorption, a process of utilization and elimination and once you really really cleanse the gut and cleanse the digestional tract and you're absorbing which means your, your phytonutrients and your nutrition and you're not malnutrition you will see that if you or by biology and physiology uh, was created to eat fruits because that's my stand we're frugivores then you should be able to build muscle or mass off of fruits now don't get me wrong I am not a frugivore 100 percent 90 percent of my diet or livid do consist of all raw and out of that 90 about 75% of that 90 consists of fruits. The others is vegetables, but I noticed that once I cleanse my intestinal tract, once I cleanse my duodenum, which is a little nine inch intestinal tract inside of your stomach, it's connected to the colon. Once I was able to absorb all of those phytonutrients, all those amino acids, I never had a problem packing on pounds. And if you look at any anybody else that follow the same dietary laws that I follow or that follow my teaching personally, a lot of them, they lose weight in the beginning like I did, and then we gain a little bit of weight back. Like, I can never get bigger than this on this diet, but I can't keep my mass. And I got plenty of clinical trials to show that everybody that follow my teachings, that follow my livid or my diet style, they can gain actual weight and mass off a frugivore or raw diet.